New cooling measures and how does it affect you? So ABSD will impact people who own multiple properties, which means it will impact investors. So your first timer, Singaporean or PR owning your first property, this will not affect you. Besides impacting on those with multiple properties, it also affects foreigners as well as developers. But this only consists of a small group and percentage of buyers. So how does it impact sellers? So I don't think it's a huge impact for sellers, but it also really depends on your unit type. For example, if you own a one-bedroom and your future buyers are actually investors or foreigners, your group of buyers might actually be smaller. Also, higher quantum houses, especially those in CCR, may be repriced according to market sentiments. So some solution to the revision of ABSD, you can buy under trust or decouple. TDSR TDSR has tightened from 60% to 55%. In short, TDSR refers to, for every $1,000 that you earn, initially you can use $600 to service your monthly mortgage, but now you can only use $550. So what does this mean for the buyers? Assuming you are buying a 1 mil property, your maximum loan is $750,000. And assuming you have 25% down payment, based on 30-year loan tenure, there are three pointers. First, you need a higher income. Previously, you need a monthly income of $5,613. Now, you will need an income of 6,123. Second, you need to top up the loan shortfall. So with the same income of 5,613, you can only loan 687,492. With this, you will have a shortfall of $62,508. You can top this up using cash or CPF. Third, lower quantum property. If you are unable to top up the shortfall, with the same monthly income, you can only purchase a property that is worth 916657 so how does this affect the sellers? Your pool of buyers will be smaller, but this also depends on your unit type. For example, a 4 beta buyer may not have sufficient fund and purchase a 3 beta instead, and so on and so forth. HDB LTV HDB LTV has revised from 90% to 85%. For HDB buyers taking bank loan, there will be no impact as the LTV still stays at 75%. So for HDB purchase at 600,000, back then we are able to get a maximum of 540,000, but now it's only at 510,000. So the difference of 30,000, you have to top up with using cash or CPF. So for HDB buyers, you have to prepare more cash or CPF for the difference, but honestly, the impact is not huge. So you don't really have to downsize with this slightly tighter budget, but what you have to do is to compromise a little on the condition and the level of the house. So for HDB sellers, honestly, the impact is not significant, but there is an announcement that came in together with the cooling measures. So there is 23,000 more BDO that will be launched in 2022 and 2023. So what does this mean? The demand will be diluted because the buyer has more options, especially if they do not have time constraint but budget constraint. So with more supply means the price will drop. So this will take some time for the market to react, and I think this is a good chance for you to take action. So we have come to the end of our first popcorn series. Popcorn is a short series where we will share our view on the hot topic and the current news of the property market. If you have any queries on current cooling measure and how it impacts you, reach out to us. Like and follow us on our Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.